Hi, I'm Ozzy, and this is the video and quick start manual for the uh, amp that's currently that I've got up on Reverb, uh, the Marshmallow Jose 50 watt three way uh, head right here. Um, this is the exact head that's on for being offered right now on Reverb. So it's not like one like it, it's the exact one. And I, I wanted to do this manual because it's sort of good to hear, you know, what you're getting as well as it's easier to sort of show you how the amp works versus describe it. I think that showing is always easier than, you know, writing out a long manual. So let's just get into what it is. So it's a small box, uh, birch cabinet, steel chassis, 50 watt head, kind of like a early seventies design. It's point to point wired, all that kind of stuff. You could see the pictures obviously in reverb. Uh, you got your power, your standby. You have your Jose master volume with the push pull. You've got bass, middle, treble, and then three gains, right? And a jump switch, three gains, three inputs. So volume one, volume two, gain, and the gain is push-pull as well. And on the back, you have the presence control. So it's just like the 100-watt uh, uh, Real Jose that's, you know, on, the, on my channel. If you wanted to see that one as well, you can look for it there. This is a copy of that circuit. Um, so let's just get into how it works. So you have uh, three inputs, which would represent different sort of like channels in a sense, but it's not channel switching. Uh, let's get into what you came here for was like, how does the, has the lead sound? How does the gain sound? So to get the gainy channel, you go into the one that's marked preamp in, which is this bottom left one. And this will be the preamp, the first stage and then volume one will be the second stage. This volume will be not using in this configuration. So let's just turn it on and let's listen to how it sounds. All right, so it's got, you know, a pretty good amount of gain for you. You could go up a little bit higher on both of these. So we could do that, I'm bringing up the volume. Okay, now we're pretty much on 10 on those. So that's how you would get like, you know, your most popular sound. You can also use the jump switch when you're in any of the channels and that would combine the two channels in parallel. So if we turn on the jump, this particular uh, volume control starts to work as well. Right. So let me bring it up. Right, this one's starting to work now too. Now that's a much bassier channel, as you can tell, because it's sort of like the, you know, the normal channel on a Marshall. So it has a lot more low end. So you'd want to feather this in, unless you're looking for like a really. You know, it has come with some of that like old time kind of like fuzz tone as well, which is kind of cool, but you would pretty much like feather this channel in to fatten up the lead channel if that's what you like right out in. okay so let's uh so that's basically how your lead sound works the other inputs, let's say, this is like your stock, sort of like 50 watt input. So when you put this into play, um, you'll have this control will be your main sort of like gain. This one's the one that's going to work if you're not jumped. So, right? So it's not. 
bring up this volume a little bit. So in cases like this, um, you can, you know, since this is a pre phase inverter kind of master, you can bring this up a little bit if you want to get a little bit more sort of like power amp crunch. <laughs> Whoops, I always miss that one. So that's, um, that would give you like a more like a 70s kind of tone. Uh, let's, if you jump, right, we're gonna jump now. So now both of these are working. So it'd be like in the old time when you put a chord across there. <laughs> Um, now, the push-pull on this is useful in this situation. When you pull this out, it disconnects that first gain stage, which unloads the sort of like more traditional stock uh, gain stages, right? So you'd get um, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more guitar signal into the into the front end of it. So you pull it out, right? Now we've disconnected that first stage. And as a consequence, it's going to be a little more, let's say, uh, a little more drive. So I'm going to bring up the master a little bit. Same thing if you were to unjump, right, and just be in our regular sort of channel. Okay, now let's get into just the old school sort of, you know, normal Marshall channel. So we'll bring up that. Um, the guitar has a JB in it, and it's like a basswood guitar. And I'm using the Oxbox on the Greenback Punch settings, and there's no other effects on it, just going into GarageBand makes it easier to record. So if you have an aux, this is like exactly the sound you're getting. If you're using other speakers, you know, you're going to get the sound of your speakers. <laughs> All right, now the other thing is you have the push-pull on the Jose. So, or rather on the master volume, the Jose master volume. So we're going to go into our gainier stage, right? And then we'll pull it. So it adds a little bit more squish. It lowers the volume a little bit. It kind of puts a resistor in the, an extra, like, um, what would be the way to call it? It puts a resistor in between the cathode follower and the tone stack. So it creates a little bit of a load on the tone stack, makes it sound a little bit different, and lowers the drive to it. Right? Gets a little more compressed sounding. Obviously that works on 
all the other channels if we were just to go into the regular one. Right? Okay, so I think that would give you, you know, an idea of how the whole thing works. Um, the inputs can be a little bit confusing if you haven't used one before. So just follow along with the video and you'll understand how to get all the different channels to work together. And then you can experiment yourself and see how to dial it in for yourself. All right, so thanks. Thanks for watching and 